hi guys so welcome back to my channel i'm back with a new look for you guys this is more of a casual everyday look and i hope you enjoy so let's jump right in and start with the primer i'm so i'm using the nivea men post shave balm and i like using this because my makeup lasts all day and it works so well with my skin so I'm just rubbing that all into my skin. So I'm using the Maybelline 24 Hours Concealer. I will link all of the products below so you know what products I've used. And then I'm using that as an eyeshadow base. And I'm just patting that with my finger just along my eyelid. And for me, this is the best base for my eyeshadow just because it does not budge. And then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. I'm using one of the shades from the top row there. I really like this palette just because it has a lot of really good transition shades. And honestly, the eyeshadow quality, it's not the most pigmented, but it is great for a base or if you want a, like a really soft blended look. So I've taken that cranberry color and I have blended that into my crease. And then I'm getting this silver shade with the flat end of the brush and I'm just patting that along my lid. As you can see, it takes a few coats to actually build up the product. And then I'm taking a darker brown shade and putting that into the crease as well. So I'm just patting that along with a thicker flat brush. I'm just blending that right into the crease. And then I'm taking my Estee Lauder foundation, it's the double wear, and I will link the shade below just because I don't know off the top of my head. And I'm dotting that around my face. This foundation is great if you need something to last all day. This is not going to budge. Next, I'm using Maybelline's Dream Mousse in a darker shade to contour with and I'm just going to place that on my cheekbones, on my forehead and my nose, you know, all the, the usual contour places. And then I'm getting a beauty blending sponge and I'm just going to blend that into my skin. I'm taking the concealer again. I'm putting it under my eyes in a triangle shape and then I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose even though I went a little bit too thick there so I'm probably gonna go back in with some more of the contour shade and then I'm just uh, buffing that out. And then I'm taking the Makeup Forever concealer and just dotting that on. It feels really light and it's full coverage. And I'm taking the Matte Maker Powder by Maybelline and I'm just using that to bake my face. Even though it, it's not translucent, it does have a colour, it works well with my skin tone. So if you have a similar skin tone or you just like the way it looks, then I would recommend this powder. And then I'm taking the Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark. I'm not sure what shade, I'm just going to link that below. And I am just following the line of my eyebrow, my natural brows. and making them look like sisters because mine really aren't twins. All the excess powder, my face has been baking, it kind of looks a bit crazy, just has like lines everywhere. So I'm just gonna, I'm honestly gonna go back in and I'm gonna 
buff everything and make sure everything is nice and blended no harsh lines so then i'm taking this white eyeshadow with a flat brush and i'm just using that to highlight under my eyebrow i really like the way this white eyeshadow comes out it kind of just makes it look a little bit more dramatic so next i'm taking the gel eyeliner and i'm just gonna wing it out there and see for me this is like make or break point <laughs> i think anyone on this planet that wears liner knows the anxiety that goes into wearing liner and if you mess up like that is it you're gonna have to start all over again and that, that would be the biggest nightmare so i'm just lining that when i don't want to go <laughs> So I've lined them both, they both kind of look symmetrical to me, I'm happy and then I'm just lining the, my inner eye with the Rimmel pencil. So then I'm going back in the eyeshadow palette and getting a dark brown shade and lining underneath my eyes. I'm going in with this gold shade and I'm just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes just to make them pop. And then I'm taking this bronzer. And I'm just gonna warm up the perimeters of my face. Next, I'm taking this blush. It's in a really nice pink shade. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheek. This color is so beautiful. It just makes me feel really girly. And then I'm taking the Dolce K lip liner and I'm lining my lip. This is a perfect nude it looks beautiful on its own i like to line my all over just so it's a nice base then i'm taking the sleek matte me lipstick and i'm just gonna apply that to my lips in a pinky shade and i love my pink i'm obsessed with pink recently it's just pink all of my instagram all of my, my life really it's just a big pink explosion <laughs> And then I'm taking the Freedom Highlighter and then I'm just going to apply that to the high points of my cheekbones. I'm giving you that face, the surface. And then I'm taking the Kiko Highlight and I really like this one to just dab on because it's very glittery. It gives you the most beautiful shine. So I'm just applying that on top of my highlight, applying it to the tip of my nose and the, along the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just applying it just above my lip, just just to be extra, you know. So then I'm taking a MAC lipstick and I'm just applying that over my matte lipstick. So then I'm taking the YSL mascara and I am just going over my eyelashes. In this look, I am not going to apply falsies because I wouldn't do that on an everyday basis. Because honestly, I don't have the time for it. And then I'm taking this I Love Extreme Mascara. Honestly, out of all the mascaras I've ever used, and I've used thousands, okay, not thousands, that's an over exaggeration, but I've used hundreds. <laughs> Even that is probably an exaggeration. But this one is my favorite. It is so good. Like, it makes my lashes at least three times longer. And sometimes I feel like I do have falsies on, but it's just this mascara, it's amazing. It's so cheap as well, so guys, go get it. I really recommend it. And yeah, this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.